Captain. I race in the Hard Enduro World Series and I'm currently around top five in the world rankings. We don't stop. Started riding bikes as a kid. My, uh, my old man got me into it. Luckily he got me a focus on something and give me a good hobby, keeping me on the straight and narrow. As a massive fan of uh, normal mountain biking, you can't compare the two. Mountain biking, e-biking, you know, they're two different things. And on a day like today, where the weather's completely miserable, we're just smashing through puddles all day and just, it's a different kind of training. More and more people are gonna get involved in it. You're gonna get more time on the trail. You're gonna get more time on your bike. If you can session a hill five times instead of twice, then you're just gonna get better as a rider as well. It's just an all over body workout for crossing back over to the hard enduro bike. So I just totally want to be um, in as good a shape as I can. So in hard enduro, the season is all year. And basically we just never stopped. And with training, we're just literally keeping the wheels turning. And the high bike just helps me do that. My first impressions of the e-bikes, there was these electric mountain bikes. There. I was like, what the heck's that? You know, so I had a quick rag on it and was like, oh, uh oh, I need one of these. And then they were at Erzberg, one of the biggest races of the year for us guys. And um, I thought, you know what, this is a good thing to um, get up that prologue and get a little inspection around the track because I'm going to save my energy where I need to. And I can get to the top quick. I can do the prologue. I actually won the prologue that year on the first run. So and ended up third overall in it. So the e-bike just literally helped my race entirely. As a training tool, it's fantastic where you can just, you're pushing it. It's almost like riding like a turbo trainer. I was checking out some of the track and really realized the potential that, you, that you've got with an e-bike. It's not just the downhills and things like that. It's, it's more about the uphills. And with what we do, hard enduro, it's all about technical stuff. And uh, we started playing around and trying different lines that we would never think of on a normal bike. So they're the advantages and um, now I've got one, I'm pushing it even more. Uh, the motivation for me comes from um, just trying to better yourself all the time and uh, new challenges, so maybe you find a weakness in your own riding style and I just want to work on that and try and get it dialed in. When I'm training on the e-bike at my local trail center, I'll do five, six laps instead of just two on the normal bike and I'm back and forward, up and down, getting some assistance with an e-bike on a trail and, and doing more laps of an uphill or more laps of the local trail center. It's just helping so much with my riding in, uh, in my main sport. What do you say to the haters? I just say, you know, is doing it five times instead of two times cheating. <laughs> so don't judge them of one off the other, just they're different and accept it. <laughs> 